Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheet. Today we're going to talk about the most common mistakes with import range, one of the most popular functions in Google Sheets. We're going to learn a couple of tips, a couple of tricks, and mainly why import range may not be working for you. So I hope you like it. And before we get into business, please consider subscribing to the channel. And furthermore, you can consider supporting me in the Patreon page where you'll find all templates, all codes to all the videos you'll find in the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked it. So import range is one of the most useful functions that Google Sheets allows us to. And for me, it's one of the main advantages versus Excel 365 in the cloud. It's the easiness in which we can connect to worksheets in the cloud. However, sometimes we don't know how to use it perfectly. So let's start by the, the, the basics of import range that you may see in many other videos, but today we're going to try to focus on the main mistakes and the main errors. If your error, if your import range is not working, I hope this is the place you, you have arrived and you find your solution. So let's begin with the basic structure of import range. We're going to say, Let's first give it a bit more of zoom so you can see perfectly. And we're going to start our import range. It says it all imports data from another spreadsheet. So for import range, you need two things, always two arguments. First argument, the address of the source sheet where you're going to bring your data. Okay. So you can copy all this URL and paste it here. We're going to paste it here. And we're going to put a colon. We're going, actually, we're not going to do anything more. We're going to just close it and we have an error. Here you don't have a clue of what's happening, just formula parse error. Actually, we have a lot of errors here. The first one is that I only have one argument. Okay. So I need the second argument. The second argument is the name of my sheet and the range. So in this case, it's going to be sheet one exclamation sign and a column B. It could be a one B 16. Let's do it like that. I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to put comma and then I'm going to say sheet one admiration sign a one B 16. Let's hit enter again. I have formula parse error. This time I have two arguments. What is the mistake? Always, please, always, both arguments need to be text strings. This means that I need to always put them under quotation marks, unless I bring this from a reference. But if I bring it from a reference cell, I should make sure that it's a text. Okay, that's it. Also, I'm going to select this and I'm going to put a quotation mark at the beginning and at the end of this. And now, I have solved my first mistake. The second mistake that it's not a mistake, it's just a transition point is that once you write your input range for the first time, you will need to connect these sheets as Google Sheets tells you here and you need to allow access. Okay. So voila, we have our first correct input range. So one mistake you, you may have is that you don't have this exclamation sign. So Please be careful with that. Always leave your exclamation sign. Things that are not mistakes, but rather tips. For example, you could leave this number open. You can leave it A1 up to B and it will still work. Actually, it's better because you leave this open. And in case, for example, I have here up to 15 Mary. But if I put here another one, 16 Andrew, it automatically brings it. So it's better to leave it open. Actually, I could also leave it without the column, just leave a one and I'm bringing just only one sheet. So this should also work. I could also remove this one and leave it only with the letters of the columns, a column B, and it will still work. Sometimes, for example, what happens if here you have to be very careful. Let's, we go to another mistake is that what happens if you change the cheat name? So be very careful with this because it will stop working here. And it will say cannot find range or sheet for import range. So you need to make sure that this 
is exactly as you have it here with the spaces with the upper and lower cases. Okay, so here I'm just going to need a space. Normally in the formulas in Sheets and Excel, you need to put this under a simple quotation mark. I forgot the space. But in Google Sheets, given that this is already a text, you can leave this without the quotation marks, the simple quotation marks, and will still work. So this is not a mistake, okay? So we're, we're separating what is and what may be a mistake, but it's not, and you sometimes think that this is. So let's just do a last test. We're going to change this for lowercase, and actually lowercase is not a problem, okay? So it is not case sensitive, so it will work even if the cases don't match, okay? Another trick is that if I only have one sheet in my file or only one tab, then I don't need this name of the sheet. Google Sheets will automatically detect that it's the only sheet that I have and it will go to the first. Actually, if I have more sheets, but sheet one is my first sheet, then it'll still work. So here it still works, but if I change this sheet here to number two, so it's not the first, at the leftmost corner, then it stop. It will stop working. Or actually, it's not. It did not stop working. It's just bringing things from the first sheet. Okay, so just be careful with this. Finally, another trick is that I don't need the entirety of the URL. I just need the ID that starts after this d slash and finishes after this slash edit. So I don't need all of this and it should still work and actually looks much more elegant, much more professional function. It's not so long. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to the interesting part. That is when it is not working. So I'm sure most of these are very common errors that most of you have had, but have solved easily. So let's go to some that are a bit more difficult. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it in a sheet from another user. So let's go here to my Guzman Sheets account. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to borrow my other account just for this. Say borrow practical sheets. Paste this. And let's copy the code. Actually, I'm going to put this in the second one. I'm going to call this sharing. And this one, I'm going to call it basic. And here I'm going to do my input range. Actually, I can paste this same input range because it's the same and it will only change the code. And I'm going to paste here the new code. This one. So this is one ni a nice mistake. You don't have permissions to access that sheet. Why? Because Actually, this is the exact explanation. I don't have permissions. Nobody has shared with me this file. Okay, so this may be one reason that you don't have the permission to access it. So now let's give it permission. I'm going to share this with practical sheets. I have it here. I'm going to share. Look that here, I'm an editor, okay? I'm going to send. I'm going to refresh and now you need to connect these sheets so i'm allowing access and it works okay so this is one of the first major mistakes is that i don't have actually i don't have the access but let's go a little bit further so i'm going to duplicate this i'm also going to duplicate this so sorry this is in spanish this is my other account Actually, I'm going to change to English just a bit. Okay, now I have an English for your convenience. Now I'm going to share, but I'm going to share as a reader. Again, practical sheets as a viewer. Sorry, let's send and let's copy this new ID. Let's paste it here. And see what happens. So I can connect it and it's not a problem. Okay. 
I'm going to change the permission. I'm going to leave it as a commenter. Save and update. See if I have any problem. And you can see that as a viewer or as a commenter, I shouldn't have any problem. However, I'm going to do another copy of this and I'm going to call it Borrow Critical Sheets Reader Limited. Something like that. I'm going to copy this and here let's go back to our practical sheet. Here I'm going to call this viewer. So I'm going to put practical sheets, I'm going to share as a viewer, and I'm going to leave the viewers and commenters can see the options to download unchecked. Okay, let's send. Now I'm going to duplicate this and call it limited viewer and I'm going to replace overwrite this code with the new one I created and here I don't even have the option to connect so the message is that even if I have permission but it's not the right permission I may not be able to connect with the input range okay so just one more and is the, the typical and we're going to have, let's go to our drive and we're going to upload an Excel file. So let's go file and load here. I should have an Excel here, this one. I'm going to open it and this, this has also a code, but you can see that it's a smaller code, a shorter code. So this, is, this should give us first warning. So I'm going to copy it. And let's call this Excel. I'm going to copy my input range so I don't have to, to write it from the beginning. And I'm going to paste here the code from my Excel. I think it was this 1SK. Yeah, 1SK and it ends in T uppercase F. Okay. Let's hit enter and you can see you don't have permissions to access that sheet. So one common mistake is that you try to bring information from an Excel file. Even though you can read it with your Google Sheet Editor, you cannot interact with it as you, as you can with all the possibilities of a sheet file. Okay, so this is it. There are some other options we're going to look at when we talk about bigger files, because there are some other mistakes that happen when you have files bigger than 30,000 or 40,000 rows, but we can look at this in another video if you like what you see here. So thank you so much. I hope you like it. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button, or you can go further and subscribe to the Patreon page where you'll find the templates and the codes for everything you see here. So thank you so much and see you next time.